Imagine stepping into a virtual world where you find yourself walking through a garden. You find an apple tree, pick an apple, and as soon as you grasp it, you can feel it in your hand as if it were real. You can even throw it into the basket. Here at the IRISA Laboratory in Rennes, scientists are working on a research project that aims to transform the world of virtual reality into a truly tactile experience. Claudio Pesherotian and his colleagues are specialists in haptic technology. Haptics is the science of touch. In research, when we talk about haptic science and haptic technology, we refer to the study and understanding how to convey and transfer information through the sense of touch. It's a sense that has long been neglected by medical research. And yet, our sense of touch is extremely important. It allows us to move around, to pick up objects, and avoid hurting ourselves. In fact, it's essential. A baby can only develop properly through physical contact with another human being. Touch is also a sense that is relatively new to the realm of virtual reality which prioritizes vision and hearing, since they are easier senses to replicate. But our sense of touch can also help to create a more immersive experience. Virtual reality enables us to create almost any object and manipulate it. So in order to produce the sensation of touch, as if we were handling it for real, we take objects from the real world and use haptic devices to enhance their attributes, whether that's their geometry or their physical properties. The team has a range of devices to help them with their haptic experiments, such as this H-ring, a motorized ring fitted with a strap that tightens or loosens when you press the piston, making it feel easier or harder to press. I will receive two haptic information, two tactile information. The first one is me touching the piston, and one is the one added by the wearable at interface. It's a bit uh, uh, tricky in the brain in the sense that the object that you touch, it's always the same but you perceive it differently because we provide you with additional sensations. This research is part of a Europe-wide program studying haptic reality, also known as H-reality. The program aims to make the virtual experience even more realistic, allowing us to feel objects as we touch them. For example, this motorized ball, which is attached to a bracelet, this experiment will help to create a more immersive virtual experience by allowing the wearer to pick up objects. As soon as you grasp something, you can actually feel it materializing in your hand. The sense of touch makes the virtual environment more interactive. For example, you can throw a ball for a dog or play a game of knock em over. The virtual world and the real world feel like they're one and the same even if the sensation of touch is not quite the same as it would be in real life. In this case, our virtual object happens to be an apple, so its shape is basically a sphere. When we grasp it, our brain is able to overlook the different texture and so on, because the image that we're seeing in this virtual world is showing us that we have an apple in our hand. So the brain finds it easier to accept all the little differences that occur compared with holding an apple in the real world. The scientists are also working on another technique known as contactless haptic feedback. In this case, there's no need to wear a haptic device. The sensation is beamed directly onto the skin using ultrasound in a process that's similar to the way we can feel the bass at a concert. This tablet acts as a kind of ultrasonic speaker, which helps feel the shapes that appear inside the VR helmet. The scientists have even created technologies that allow the user to move around and interact with the virtual environment. To show us what these invisible, inaudible waves look like, the scientists send them through an oil bath. The shape that appears in the oil is identical to that sensed by the hand. When I use the machine to focus the waves on a part of my skin, I feel a little vibration located exactly at that point. 
And if I move that focal point around on my skin, it creates the sensation of a geometric shape pressing against the skin. This basic research into haptics could lead to major breakthroughs in our understanding of the sense of touch. In years to come, it could be of interest to the video game industry. But that's not all. The advertising sector could also use these technologies to allow passersby to feel a certain texture or the shape of an object. Haptics could also be used for medical purposes, such as training or upgrading the design of a wheelchair with vibrating navigation aids. There is no end to the uses and possibilities of haptics. And now this technology is taking its first steps into a brave new virtual world.